the second super sport race of the week then richard cooper was the winner of race one from hickey and michael dunlop cooper todd brown across the front row dunlop mclean paul jordan on row two hickman sweeney and connor cummins on row three christian elkin he's a winner around this track before michael evans ian hutchinson is there as well McCoy, Neve, and Simpson from Dominic Herbertson. Jeremy McWilliams, after a pretty poor practice, yeah, had a gearbox issue and they sorted it all out. Right, we wait for the green flag to drop and the lights will come on and they are oh. off. A bit of a jump there from Todd. Now Todd will hope he gets past Vern turn one, of course. That's where he got bowled off in the first race. Michael Brown is there as well. No Adam McLean. He hasn't been declared fit for this race, so he's out. So we're over. Primrose down towards York Corner for the first time, and that's where Todd will hold his breath, no doubt. But uh, Richard Cooper we're on board with didn't get a great start on Thursday, got a pretty poor one, I've got to say, this time as well. He's There's straight. Todd straight in. Uh, Brown is in second place on the number 16. Mike Brown looking for another great ride. He finished fourth on uh, race one on Thursday. Up the hill then to the Mill Road roundabout. Sorting yeah. themselves out. Look at that lead already. David Todd absolutely out of the trap so well. And listen to the growl of the yeah. Ducati in comparison to the... Uh, strange, well, regulations quite different for these machines. Of course, you've got the Triumphs out there, 675. You've got this uh, 900cc. And this is on board the Triumph with the Ducati's 900, 600cc, R6s. Real different bikes, but very, very similar performances. Yeah, the Triumph is a 765, just to fill in the gap there that uh, you left open for us. And we are into the countryside for the first time then. This is a six-lap race. Oh, whizzing through station corner. Absolutely incredible. On a 600, well, on a super sport machine, whatever configuration you're on, it's still flat out through there. Oh. Here comes Mike Brown. He was superb the other day when he came all the way through from going up the slip road at York to take him fourth place. Yeah, really. Uh, Richard Cooper getting a good slipstream here as well. Of course, Brown and Cooper on the team, their teammates here, same colour bikes, oh. of course. Side by side, Mike Brown trying to get past the Ducati. I would have thought the Ducati might have had a little bit more performance. Well, if they actually do it on horsepower to a certain extent. They're oh. good on brakes, there's no question about that. David Todd down there, brilliant from him. Of course, he was the winner here last year, and he want to be doing it again. It was such a shame that it actually took the sting out of the race a bit, didn't it, with that crash in the first one? Certainly did. Here we are then, first time around at the Magic Roundabout. Mike Brown slots in behind David Todd. And it's Richard Cooper. I think Richard Cooper fits a super sport bike absolutely brilliantly. He looks just at one on it. CR6 are on board with screaming, and he gets the run up towards the Mathers Cross, bumpy part. Richard Cooper also, look, teammates side by side now on the BPE machines. I could listen to them all day. I mean, what's the collective for. Uh a group of super sport machines, I wonder, as Gap. we drop into the chicane. A gaggle, I'd have said. We know someone down the slip road there. That's going to have to stop and put his foot down. He didn't. <laughs> He'll be picking up a penalty then in that particular case. So then back on with David Todd, the drone of the Ducati. Now, meanwhile, here comes Michael Dunlop. Michael Dunlop on the 765. They've got a great sound, the triple, I think, out of all of them. That's my favourite. Yeah, pretty much the Moto2 engine, of course, in that bike. Simon Buckmaster's here running that bike for Michael Dunlop this week. Oh, have some of that. <laughs> so into the braking area then at the McRoboy chicane, under our camera and down towards Metropole we now plough and uh, big slipstream then for these bikes and that really does help on these slightly lower horsepower machines compared to the super bikes. Cooper 47, oh, right out in the dirt. He was in the kerb, almost on the path. Wow. So Metropole, <laughs> this is super sport forward. racing. Yeah. This is proper super sport racing. This was brilliant, wasn't it? You so watched this. Close. Look how he was right in the gutter. Uh, you committed. Once you're committed to that, you've got to make the move. Peter Hickman then on the Trooper Triumph by PHR. Peter Hickman Racing. He's out. He's touring. Disappointment there for Peter Hickman, and this was his class, really. Yeah, that is a major disappointment for him. He's not having it his way, is he? He's looked so good this week as well. Side by side again, Cooper is looking sharp along the seafront. Into Juniper we go on the brakes at the moment, everybody taking the ideal line. When it comes to a final scrap though, somebody is going to work out whether they're going to hug the white line up the inside and give someone the only opportunity, and that's around the outside. And that's when it does get really desperate. Listen to that thing sing. I love the sound of that Ducati. Still prefer the drive. 
finish line. Over the line we go. So, still Todd from Cooper. Now look at uh, Dunlop. It's Dunlop trying to, he got up the inside oh, in the middle oh, of the start and finish. That's that must scary. Have, must have been a mistake. coming out, surely. No, it hasn't. Must have been a mistake by Mike Brown for him to be able to get underneath him there, for sure. Through Quarry and down across the uh, finish line to get in front. The number six, Michael Dunlop, then, has pinched the plate from Mike Brown. Still a good ride from Mike Brown, but uh, Dunlop, he might have to follow him through. Meanwhile, these two out front, York, bottom gear. This is where Coops, weighing three stone wet through, has an advantage, perhaps. Yeah, it looks to me like the Yamaha maybe has a bit more top speed, but we it's all really about where Mike Brown's back. back in front of Dunlop. Yeah, Mike Brown has gone back in front of Dunlop again through the Mill Road roundabout, the wrong way around the roundabout. Don't do that at home, folks. Ducati time. This is where oh, David Todd on the big bike is absolutely spectacular on this part of the track. He just is flat out. Look, at, you yeah. can see the how bumpy it is here. The suspension moving up and down. This is station. I know it sounds silly, but it's easy on the 600 to here. And they virtually go through it flat out on the superbike. So on the 600, these guys that you walk in the park, don't try it yourself. But it really is. We've driven in uh, this morning, and you just see all the black lines that are laid through there. And here we go. Mike Brown goes past Dunlop again. That's an advantage that uh, is worth just pronouncing I suppose in that uh, if we have dry weather throughout the week it is always a great racetrack come Saturday because it's uh, rubbered in and gives you just that little bit more grip everywhere screaming through then into university still Todd from Cooper Brown and Dunlop fighting away for third place Dunlop has the advantage but he's having to work for it there's no doubt about that Mike Brown having a good weekend. This is only what his second um, Northwest 200 weekend, isn't it? It is, yeah. So he's doing a really, really good job there. I mean, there's from Cork, of course. He's a 33-year-old fella. Good number 16 as well. Of course, didn't you know? I did. Out to the Port Rush, down towards the first of the chicanes as we keep an eye on whether Richard Cooper has managed. I like the overhead because it gives you a bit of an opportunity to see just how the slipstream works, but more for me is into the braking area. If we can have a look down on when they hit the brakes. Look at that. Well, right. that's, yeah, David Todd again. He's just that yard later on the brakes, isn't he? He never even got an opportunity to look at Coops then. He just made his mind up he was going to be where he was on his braking point, and uh, it was better than Cooper's. Now then another chicane coming up in a moment but it's Metropole I think that uh, he's going to count most. look at Cooper's slipstream there it's straight by but watch it in the brakes what he's got to do is get on the inside all the time of course this is a twin cylinder machine we're riding with here well, every time he manages it he's just so good on the brakes David Todd he's good at the start and good at stopping uh, now then run down to Metropole into the houses. I always think that this makes it feel like more than the mile an hour they're covering because you're in amongst all the furniture. Yeah. Breaking area coming up that's in. And you can see Todd always takes that left hand run down into uh, Metropole and then pulls across to get the race in line. Some riders like it on the left side of the road, some like it on the right side of the road. It depends where the manholes are, it depends on what's in your memory. Yeah, well, the, the optimal best route. racing line, of course, is to get over to the right at the last minute, but you're right, it depends on where you think it's, uh, it's better. Uh, we had uh, Lee Johnson talking to us earlier on, saying that they've really smoothed out those manhole covers, they've got grip here because they never used to go over them, particularly on the accelerated part. It's one of your favourite things to talk about, isn't it? The shims. I love the manhole shims. shims. Yeah, there's man I've seen them, they're out there with little shims, making sure that the manhole cover is exactly the same height as the tarmac and again as Lee said if you can't get your tarmac right in Ireland you're never going <laughs> to I'm glad Lee said it otherwise we'd be uh, in trouble for it number one David Todd then still leads this super sport race Saturday it's the second super sport race and he's looking very sharp indeed but so is Cooper and look at Dunlop on the triumph the 765 triumph is there now he can smell a victory as well it's going to be between these three who's it going to be out of these three Todd has looked, uh, well, the sharpest so far. Richard, oh, oh have some of that. Final lap, it's finished. It is just Davy Todd from Richard Cooper, from Michael Dunlop. He could not have got much closer. I wonder whether we were going to have a, a last corner shake-up, but in the end, it was Davy Todd who hung on from Richard Cooper and Michael Dunlop. Mike Brown gets a great fourth place. Connor Cummins gets fifth place. Paul Jordan sixth. Michael Evans, Jeremy McWilliams. Ian Hutchinson and Mike Sweeney.